Hello, and welcome to another duel. This time I'm going to put the focus more on the rules. The terrain you can see here is Papercraft terrain by Topo Solitario. I can put a link of this um, down in the video descriptions. So everything's just printed, folded, and there's no glue involved here. The miniatures you can see are a Ninja by Excalibur miniatures, which are no longer in existence, unfortunately. And the Halfling is by MicroArt Studio. And both of them are going to duke it out now. The miniatures start outside the gaming area, so you spend your first turn bringing your miniature onto the gaming area. According to the core rules, your goal is to get a treasure marker out of the center of the gaming area. A turn is divided into three phases. The first phase is the initiative phase, where you check who goes first. Then comes an upkeep phase, where several things can happen. And last but not least comes the action phase, where each player and each fighter gets to act. Let's begin with initiative. Each player rolls a die. The ninja has got a 3. The halfling has rolled a 6. The ninja goes first. Movement is for each miniature the same. It's 4 inches. So the ninja starts by moving 4 inches onto the gaming area. So from where he's standing, he's got a view into the street lying ahead of him. But he can also see the area in his back as a fighter in duel has a field of vision of 360 degrees. The halfling also moves his four inches onto the gaming area up to about here. Okay, from this point of view, he's hidden now. Good. This turn we skipped the upkeep phase, that's something for later. Both fighters have acted, so time for a new turn. Again we start with initiative. The ninja has rolled a 1, the halfling has rolled a 2, the ninja gets to act first. Again, the ninja moves his 4 inches right up next to the treasure marker, so next turn he just might pick it up. The halfling moves 4 inches as well, which take him right opposite of the ninja. And now the both of them can see each other. What that means, we're about to find out. Let's take a closer look at the situation. The two fighters can see each other, so a duel is initiated. According to the core rules, a duel is initiated whenever two fighters can see each other. The range of weapons does not matter at all. A duel consists of two steps. In the first step, you select deliberately a value between 1 and 6 on a die hidden. The lower values represent the faster shots, which can be fired off at first but have a higher chance of failing, of missing, and the higher values are the more precise shots but bear a higher risk of being shot first, and thus you cannot shoot back. Let's check out the so-called dual score our fighters select. Remember, the ninja's got the red die, the halfling has got the green die. 
The ninja has selected a 3, the halfling a 4, the ninja shoots first. In the second step, you roll two dice and then you start adding. To each die rolled, you add the dual score separately. 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7. A result of 7 or more is needed to score one hit. One hit means the opposing miniature goes down. Two hits would have meant the miniature would have gone out of the game. But as only one hit has been scored with 1-7, the halfling is down. The halfling has the 4. This would have given him a slightly better chance of hitting. Alas, he's down, so he cannot shoot back anymore. The second turn is over, so again we roll for initiative. Each player rolls a die. The halfling has rolled a 1, the ninja has rolled a 2, the halfling may act first. Now we've got the aforementioned upkeep phase. The halfling may check whether he can get back up again. To check this, he may roll two dice. Any one die showing a result of five or more makes the halfling get back up. Two sixes. That's one more than would have been sufficient, so the halfling gets back up. The halfling has got the initiative, so he acts first and moves up to the treasure counter for a chance of picking it up in the next turn. The two fighters can still see each other, so they initiate a new duel. Let's check the dual scores for both of them. Alright, the ninja has got a 1, the halfling has got a 3. The ninja may shoot first. 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3. None of these shots are sufficient to actually hit the halfling, though the halfling may shoot back. 3 plus 1 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, that's a hit. The ninja goes down and is placed prone. The ninja had lost the initiative. Now it would be his turn to act, however he is down, so he cannot act anymore, much less initiate a new duel. So it's time for a new initiative as the turn is over. The ninja has got a 1, the halfling has got a 5. The ninja has got initiative. During upkeep, the ninja checks whether he may get back up again. The result of 4 is not sufficient, the result of 6, however, is sufficient for him to get back up. The ninja gets back up and moves on with the action phase. Instead of a move action, he uses the action interact with an object to pick up the treasure marker. We'll move the treasure marker out of the gaming area center and put it right here in the back to show the treasure marker is now in the hands here of the ninja. The ninja is done with his action, but the both of them still see each other, so they start shooting. Let's check out the dual scores for the both of them. The ninja has got a 2, the halfling's got a 5, the ninja gets to shoot first. Good. A three and a six. 
2 plus 3 is 5, 2 plus 6 is 8, that's one hit, the halfling goes down. As before with the ninja, the turn to act for the halfling is skipped because the halfling is down. A new turn begins, time for the initiative. The halfling has got a 3, the ninja 5, the halfling wins the initiative. During upkeep, the halfling checks whether he may get back up again. Oh no, a 1 and a 3, that's no 5, no 6, so the halfling stays down. He cannot act because he is down and the turn goes directly to the ninja. If the halfling would have gotten up, the ninja would have made sure to get behind the building to win the game by leaving with the treasure marker. But the halfling is down, so the ninja just stays in place and once again fires a shot at the halfling. The advantage of this action is, the halfling cannot shoot back, because he is down. So, the ninja's shot at the halfling is an automatic hit, taking the halfling out of the game. That's it. The halfling is out of the game, the ninja is the last remaining miniature in-game, so that's why the ninja has won. So, that was a glance at the core rules of Duel. As you may have noticed, a game can be played very quickly. However, that's the whole purpose of it. You can play quick and ruthless games you can set up with very little effort. After all, it's that what you can see here. Uh, it's just a printed page along with three cardboard boxes used as buildings. And I think the low setup time just adds to the celerity of the game. The core rules are built for speed. I'll put a link of the rules into the video's description so you can download uh, the rules for yourself. The extended rules can make your game as complex as you want. You can have rules for equipment, for heroes with mad skills accompanied by followers, for gang warfare and even more scenarios. So yeah, if you like it, please do tell others about it. Don't forget to like the video, to share it. Um, chances are you know better how to do all of this than I do. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you around. Have a good time until we meet again.